Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to Ultimate Emerald Dreadnoughts with Alpha 7.4. Today I have a scenario by Antonio. It is World War II, and the Germans have been able to continue the construction of Plan Z. They've built a fourth Hipper class heavy cruiser after the loss of the Blucher in Norway. The task force of three Hipper cruisers, two Panzerschiffs, and whatever the AI makes of them, and four destroyers are trying to break out into the Atlantic, while the British have sent part of the home fleet to intercept with reinforcements well on the way. Your goal is to destroy their fleet before other ships from the home fleet arrive. I'm going to be playing Germany, I'm going to be fighting the British, and I am severely outnumbered. They have one battleship, one battle cruiser, four heavy cruisers, four lights, and four destroyers. That is a sizable fleet to kill off. I only have two battle cruisers, which I don't even get to design, because I'm supposed to design the heavy cruiser. I have three heavy cruisers and four destroyers. This is gonna come down to either a lot of luck or hoping that the AI designs something for me in the form of these destroyers and the battle cruisers that I can actually work with. Now let's get to designing a heavy cruiser. Um, let's, let's see, that's a large cruiser. That's pretty much a battle cruiser. This is a heavy cruiser. That's a big girl, 20,000 tons. Let's go with the biggest heavy cruiser I can, because I'm going to need that firepower. I think speed is not terribly important. Let's set that at 30 knots. Let's go for our marine diesels. It's a change of pace. Oil, force boilers, auxiliary, turbo electric drive, shaft 2, crib 4. Yeah, no, it's all the usuals. I don't want to put too much torpedo protection on these ships. Because I think that that's going to impede my ability to turn. Uh, let's go with a pretty heavy barbette. The last thing I want to see is my turrets turning into rockets. Let's go for an all or nothing armor scheme. Alright, we're going to go full maximum tech here. Because I'm going to need quite a lot of advantages that the game might give me this way. We're starting at 25,000 meters, in case I forgot to mention that, so gun long range is going to be important. Main tower. Secondary tower. This seems more akin to an actual battleship than a heavy cruiser. Let's see, can we fit a muggle funnel in here? It's just one mega funnel. Still, it is 100% engine efficiency, so that's good enough. All right then, main guns. The best I can fit is 11-inch guns. They are Mark Vs. That is really beneficial. Unfortunately, they only fire out to a range of 22.6. So I cannot hit anything at a range of 25. Uh, and on top of that, they are probably going to be fairly heavy. Yeah, see? Still, I'm going to need these guns. Otherwise, the battle is going to be over very, very quickly. Because it's just going to blow me out of the water. Need to have a bit less four weight offset. There. Um, I'm going to remove these and put dual barrels on. This is to make sure that I still have a bit of displacement left that I can then use to use for, or that I can use to deploy secondaries. And secondaries I want. Oh, hold on. Uh, it doesn't fit. I was hoping I could put six inch guns here. Oh, I can. I can do that here. Sort of stuck in there. So that sort of works. And then a couple of five inch triple secondaries. What, they're too big? Really? What do I have this slot for then? Four inch? Yeah, they're four inch gun turrets. Those are big, big turrets. They're even sticking out of the ship. Curious. All right. Can I put three inch up here? So I have seen what three inch guns can do against destroyers. And they can be, at times, very effective. One other thing I would love on a ship like this is torpedoes. You know what? I'm just going to put torpedoes in these slots here. Quintuple torpedo uh, turrets. One here and one there. 
This is going to allow me a pretty good firing angle. Maybe just bring this one slightly more forward. There. Now, those are going to be oxygen fueled. No. Well, it does add torpedo range. 22 or 21 2. Torpedo visibility minus 48%. Yeah, I can work with that. Right, propellant, high TNT. I need the maximum firepower that I can get. Hold on, my starboard weight offsets a problem. Oh. That's because it didn't quite mirror the positioning of that second torpedo turret. There. Small four weight offset of 0.9%. That's something I can perfectly live with. Standard shells, let's go for heavy shells. That's going to put the range at 23.7. 23.7 still. Um, shell range. This is less shell range. Cordite, no. White powder. White powder is a bit, a bit of shell range. 24.7. But you're sacrificing a bit for that. These get a penetration buff of 2.5% and 3.5% shell damage. These get 12% shell damage and 1.5% shell penetration. Tricky. Both are quite nice. But these have a higher flash fire chance. I'm going to go with high TNT. Okay, I'm firing at long range. So this time around, deck armor is going to be quite important. It's also usually the, well, the trickiest armor to work with because it adds up very, very quickly. I want about 9 inch or more on the turret. I want a similar type of armament or armoring on the conning tower. Turret top. Might as well go for something like 6, maybe even 7 inch. Secondaries. Not terribly important. I mean, I do have these, uh, the 3 inch. Um, this is considered a main gun. It's considered a main turret, the six inch gun. Fires every 8.8 .8 seconds. Anything else that I would like? Because I have a little bit of displacement left. I could increase the size of the torpedoes and go for, let's say, 21 inch. That makes them, hold on, does that make them more visible? Yeah, my, torpedo visibility minus 48%. Whereas if you go for 24 inch, it's minus 33%. Okay, in that case, I'll go for the sneakiest torpedoes possible. Hopefully torpedoing some of their lighter ships. But again, they might very well have hydro. Increase belt armor a little bit. A little less. There. Okay, let's take the ship to war and see if I can keep it alive. There are no loss conditions, only win conditions. And it says, destroy the enemy fleet within four hours. Now, I think that usually battles don't even last that long. So, this should be doable. I'm missing a lot of mounts, apparently. So be it. Right. Brits, here we go. We have two battle cruisers, Seitlitz and Lauenburg. Seitlitz is armed with 14-inch guns, Mark IV. It has Generation 2 radar and stereoscopic rangefinders, so it should be very accurate. Fast torpedoes, lots of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. All port and starboard. They are 20 inch torpedoes. They have a very high speed, but relatively low range at 9.8 kilometers. She also has eight, well, a singular 8 inch secondary in a very interesting position over there. 5 inch. 3 inch and 2 inch. Then we have the destroyers. That is a lot of torpedo power. We got one quintuple launcher on the bow, two quadruples on the stern, two triples, one uh, in front of the bridge and one fully at the stern, and then one singular turb <laughs> just directly behind the main tower. They are all long-range torpedoes. They don't run particularly quick at 48 knots, but they're very hard to spot at minus 43%. Unfortunately for me, my destroyers are entirely in the wrong position. As the British are coming in from behind. 
and the whole group of me, the whole group of me, my whole group is completely out of position. So we're going to have to turn the destroyers around. They're pretty quick, 38 knots. Uh, the battle cruisers can do 36, and that makes the heavy cruisers the slowest at 30 knots. Let's see. Battle cruisers, primary target. These are, I think, light cruisers, because they're too big for a destroyer. And they're smoking up, so that makes them a light cruiser. That makes these boys the destroyers. And that makes this one... Arguably the battleship. Heavy cruisers and battle cruisers target the unidentified British ship. It's hard to tell which one's which. Because the British have both a battle cruiser and a heavy cruiser. I think this is the battleship. It's a bit thicker. Cruisers are usually a little more sleek. And this seems to be lining up with that design. All battle cruisers do not turn. Sorry, heavy cruisers, not the battle cruisers. I need to turn a bit, but not too much. Your torpedo range is 21, which very well puts these guys into torpedo range. Yeah, let's just go for aggressive launches. If I can put some torpedoes in the water and break up their formation, then that could very well help me in just containing their numbers. First torpedo spread is away. Launch from Bavaria. And the Bavaria is trying to get back into formation with the uh, Turingia and the Admiral Graf Spey. And they're doing it in a peculiar fa- What the fuck is this? Torpedoes there, there, and even... What the hell is this? It's like the Turingia just launched torpedoes in every which way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But some of those might actually very well threaten my own ships. Do we have a traitor in our ranks? This is something I've never seen before. And I've seen this game do some weird shit. I don't trust the Turingia that much. Graf Spey, continue on your course. Bavaria just launched her starboard side as well. We seemingly have inflicted a little bit of damage. But it's going to take a lot more to sink that battleship. If we can deal any sort of substantial damage at this range. That's a big if. Battle cruisers slow down to full speed, not flank speed. Buffing their accuracy a bit, hopefully. Now the light cruisers are definitely charging in. Which could be good, could be bad, depending on how their ships are set up. They got a pretty hefty turret on the bow, two turrets astern, torpedo tubes here, and some secondaries, but I'm not terribly impressed with them so far. Oh, Graspe had... no, the, the Lauenburg is currently flooding. Fucking heavy. It did actually hit me. Are this torpedo still going? That random torpedo salvo from my allies? Alright, let's send out torpedoes against these. Go aggressive, you have the range. And you also have a large enough salvo to make their life quite difficult. They're all coming this way, so even if I don't hit the lead ship, I might still hit others. Gaspe, Bavaria, turn back. Your torpedoes are away. Or should be. Yeah, we've got a salvo here. A salvo here and here. With any luck, the light cruiser is going to run right into that. And meanwhile, we've still set only one or two fires on this battleship, but it's nothing serious. 
Where's that traitorous battleship? Or traitorous heavy cruiser? Turingia, over here. I'm not going to allow you to launch torpedoes at all. I don't feel like I can trust you with those. AI control. Alright, we get a big launch from the V1. V3. Yep, they're all scattering. We did have a torpedo hit against the light cruiser, and she's flooding quickly. Very quickly, in fact. That might be the first kill. Nope. She closed her watertight bar uh, bulkheads. Watertight doors. But, is it enough? I think it might not be. Come on. Fast is good. Sink it. Gotcha. Alright, that's one light cruiser less to worry about. Excellent. There's plenty more. V3 has just launched her torpedoes. V4. I want you to target this ship. V4 has launched her torpedoes. V2. I want you to torpedo this guy in the back. Especially since there's a lot of ships behind it. V1 group, turn around. Get ready for another torpedo launch. When ready, that is. Spay, turn this way. Battle cruisers are pretty far away. What are you even targeting? A light? No. They're still trying to hit this ship. Unsuccessfully. These spreads don't look terribly impressive. I think they might miss, but this... This is more promising. This, however, is a threat. That needs to be dealt with. V1, hard to starboard. I need to get you outside of that torpedo range. Well, not so much the torpedo range, but torpedo risk. Uh, and don't launch until otherwise directed. So this is going to keep plowing on, but not actually threaten anybody. It looks like the Boyne has, in fact, detected all the torpedoes. And is trying to evade, but I'm not sure how the Somme and the Parker are going to be handling that. Hopefully not too well. Another fire on the battleship. Oh shit. What happened to you? What the fuck? How did this happen? I got hit by an, a friendly torpedo? My torpedoes were coming out from the destroyers and the destroyers are here. How did a destroyer launch a torpedo in that direction? That makes no sense. Here. This is another salvo. I think the game has some sort of bug. Because this is the second time in this battle that I have seen my ships launch torpedoes at each other. And it is starting to worry me. Torpedo the battleship. Twelve eight, so you're well inside of range. There you go. Excellent. These battle cruisers are not terribly accurate. Which is curious, considering that they have the best rangefinder and very good um, radar. DDs report. Are you guys intending on launching any more torps at friendlies? Heavy cruiser torpedo hits destroyer? From a friendly again? Something's wrong with our bloody ships today. Something's very wrong. Something's about to be wrong with the British as well. Because they're all cowering in their smoke screens. But there's a big selection of torpedoes coming at them. I wonder if they're going to be able to stop that. 
or maybe not stop that. Well, there is one way of stopping a torpedo, and that's just getting in its way. It's a fantastic way to stop the torpedo, and I hope that the British are going to try that. Unfortunately, all of these are packing decent to very good detection equipment to counter enemy torpedoes. Still, the AI is just about as good as I am at avoiding torpedoes. AKA, not very. And hopefully, we can get rid of one or two destroyers this way. Still, what the hell are my ships doing? How are they torping their own? I just don't understand that. Yep, some seems to have made a big mistake. Hit. Sunk. Are you going to try the same thing? Spitfire? No, Spitfire is avoiding the first. And just slowing down enough for the second. The light cruiser Andromachi is not such... Yeah. <laughs> not so lucky this time. She is going down fast. These are 20 inch torpedoes, so they're not even that big. They're more than big enough, however. Graf Spey is still trying to get our engines fixed. Battle cruisers are doing quite alright. How's the battleship? The repulse. 14 inch guns. Torpedoes, even. It's pretty unusual for a battleship. And we do have another torpedo salvo going out. Which could pose problems for the Duke of Edinburgh. Depending on how she's going to be maneuvering. She seems to be making a hard turn to port, trying to evade. Incoming torpedo against... Turinja. She has detected. She's under AI control. Yeah, I don't trust the AI with that. Can I deal some actual damage against, for example, the heavy cruiser, I wonder? Maximum turn to port. Torpedo's denied. Talbot sinks due to heavy flooding. Let me guess. Torpedo? Torpedo. Okay, so that's a good cleanup action on those destroyers and the light cruisers. There's another light cruiser, the Manchester, also eats a torpedo. I don't get it. They have sonar 3. So this leaves them with, what, three destroyers, right? I'm not too eager to go gun those down. But I think I might need my torpedoes to deal with the heavier ships. Let's come hard to starboard, try to kill off the Boyne. And then make my way towards the heavy cruisers and the battle cruiser and the battleship. Alright, we have another salvo going out against the battleship, I believe. Yeah, she's torping the battleship. And it's time to turn back to port. And ha no, 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 no. See, if I hand her over to the AI, the AI is just going to go, yep, we're going to YOLO right into that group. That's why you just cannot trust the AI with your ships. It's just a bad idea. What are you guys targeting? Heavy cruiser, heavy cruiser. Yeah, everything's targeting the heavy cruiser. Bavaria? Jesus, you're all the way over there. Should have kept you quite a lot closer. Do these? Boyne seems to be heading away. These guys have a very high torpedo range at 21.7. But I will need to get quite a bit closer if I want to actually land one of those torpedoes. Lauenberg is now taking some damage. Sight leads, what's your torpedo range? 9-8. Oh, that puts these guys out of torpedo range. That sucks. We are targeting a heavy cruiser. Yeah, we're targeting the Duke. Torpedoes are not looking very good on the battleship, but the battle cruiser 
seems to be steaming very happily towards them. That's good news, especially since she has few bulkheads. Turingia is falling back. Intent control over the... Really? You're going to turn broadside immediately? I think that's a terrible idea. What is the Lauenberg doing? It's like half my ships either are going off on their own adventure or torpedoing friendlies. For some unknown reason. Oh, it looks like the Indomitable has seen the torpedoes and is avoiding aggressively. Yep, she also has sonar 3. Everybody has sonar. Oh, and there's the Aurora. Also got hit, this time around by a torpedo from my heavy cruiser. But what's going on with your engine? Engine will repair, damage, repaired, 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 damaged. Right. DD's status. Oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. I hope that that turn can bleed off enough speed so that I don't get hit. There. That was a bit too close for comfort. Torpedoes against Spitfire. Launch room ready. Alright, V1 has sent out a salvo. V3, V4, V2 not yet, because you're simply not ready yet. We are now 16 clicks out from that heavy cruiser, which is now taking a severe damage. Yep, she got hit by the battle cruiser. 14 inch shell. We got the Duke of Edinburgh coming in pretty aggressively. That's your new target. Bavaria is launching torpedoes at the battle cruiser. We have incoming torpedoes. The side leads and Lauenburg are now pretty far apart, which I just don't understand. Because they're seemingly in good condition. Oh, good hit. What happened to you, Spitfire? You got hit with a 5-inch shell? Wow. Minimum bulkheads. One 5-inch shell is going to kill you. Or near enough. No, she's fighting the flooding. She's trying to pump out the water again. I need to get rid of these destroyers so I can push up. Kent's limping out. Indomitable is flooding. Oh, a torpedo hit your stern. Since it only did 51 damage, I think that this ship has pretty good anti-flooding. Yeah, she has anti-flood 3 and anti-torpedo 5. She's going to be uh, tough not to crack. Spitfire and Parker. Where's Parker? Parker's ready to torpedo. Seemingly doesn't doesn't want to yet. She does have the range. Where are those torpedoes that are sent out against the destroyers? Here. No, that's just waves. Destroyers? I swear I sent a lot of torpedoes this way. Where did they go? Spitfire's damage control is pretty impressive. She keeps getting hit. And she keeps pumping out the water. Even with both engines damaged, she's still maneuvering. Just not very quickly. Side leads. It's too far away. Try to finish off the, the Kent. Heavy Cruiser Kent. Lauenberg, you're going to try and finish Heavy Cruiser Duke of Edinburgh. Bavaria, back hard to port. Target, Duke of Edinburgh. The Duke has torpedoes inbound. 
But I think that almost all of these British warships are... Yeah, they're all packing sonar 3 or similar. She has detected the torpedoes and is moving to avoid. Where's that treacherous Turingia? Here. If you want to torp something, torp the battleship. Unfortunately, we just don't have any torpedoes heading that way currently. Europa has spotted the torpedoes and is... I don't know. Trying to evade by going to the gap here? Oh, shit. V1? That was pretty close. I trust that the V3 is going to evade, but I'm not sure about the V4. Maybe. Spitfire still limping around. Side leads, avoid. Okay, you're good to go. You can rejoin your brethren. We're now 6.8 kilometers out. It's pretty close, especially getting close to the light cruiser. But I'm expecting the side leads to be able to take out the light cruiser so that the destroyers can then push on to the bigger ships here. That's the plan. Kent is still alive. Ah, there goes Spitfire. Finally. Another torpedo salvo on the way towards the repulse. Turingia sends a regards. There goes Kent. Very nice. I think that was the kill from the Lauenberg. Maybe Seidlitz. New target, light cruiser Manchester. Push in behind the, uh, the destroyers. She only has sonar 1. These guys have sonar 3. So they're far more capable of detecting torpedoes before it's too late. I mean, they are. It's just that I'm the weak link here. Duke of Edinburgh has detected the torpedoes. Really? Which ones? Oh, here. Okay. Have you detected the torpedoes yet? Indomitable. There goes Manchester. Perfect. Yeah, that's never going to look good. That's not going to hit anything. Okay, battle cruisers. We have more to sink. The Aurora seems to be already under threat. The destroyers can keep pushing. It's just going to be hard to get these things hit. Europa is at far... No, 9.3 clicks out. Ooh, beautiful hit here on the Aurora. Flash fire! Pop goes the turret. That's one 7-inch gun less. She's flooding rapidly. A few bulkheads. Look at that ship list. Jesus. Extreme turn to port. Damage to the main tower. I want more flooding. Just need one or two more flooding hits and she's gone. Pen chance is going up quickly. So I should definitely be able to sink this guy within the next few minutes. Send out torpedoes against the Europa. Single torpedo tube away. Quintuple away. Yeah, if he wants now out of torpedoes. You want detach from the division and uh, fall back. 
V3, congratulations, you've been promoted. You're now the leader of this squadron. There's only one, no, two destroyers left, so I'm not very keen on keeping my destroyer back here. I don't think that that's a big priority. Turingia seems to have been hit quite a few times. Yeah, 14 inch shells and 7 inch shells are doing a lot of damage. And she has spotted torpedoes, which I think are meant for her. Aurora's limping away. Um, we got quite the salvo here in the water. Aurora, with a damaged rudder and a lot heavier ship than she started out with, might have trouble evading those. Let's go to times three. I don't think that the Turingia is going to be uh, doing much at the moment. She's simply too heavily damaged. The other heavy cruisers, Bavaria. Bavaria was told to head away, which she executed. So it was getting a bit too close. But now I can start to push back in. Just follow the battle cruisers in. Ooh. A torpedo has found the Aurora. The Aurora is once again flooding. Her stern was already flooded, but now it's the bow. It's the whole bow section. The rest of the torpedoes are continuing on their course. Europa seemingly not yet aware of the torpedoes. But those things are continuing. And nope, they're turning. Oh, come on. It would have been perfect if I could have gotten rid of one of those ships just like that. Targeting the battle cruiser and hitting the battle cruiser. Indomitable. Being hit by 14 inch shells from the Lauenburg and or Seitlitz. Nothing serious yet. No flooding. Yeah, the torpedoes are passing by harmlessly. Alright, destroyers. We can now put. Oh, oh shit. What happened here? Was this another friendly? No, that was an actual hostile torpedo. Well, that's refreshing. Not getting hit by one of your own torpedoes. And I know that I do that sometimes. That I don't pay enough attention and I run into my own torpedo. But this time around, especially with that early launch from the Turingia, I don't know what was going on there. That was really curious. But it sucks that it was one of my torpedoes, or well, torpedo-capable destroyers. V uh, V3 and V4 still have torpedoes. But it's going to be tricky to get those delivered. What was that again? Yeah, Sonar 3. Taking down that battleship is going to be a challenge. Got Bavaria also joining formation. The Graf Spey, not so much. Not with three damaged engines. Graf Spey can do... 12 knots. Turingia is still fighting for her life. Still sending out yet another salvo of torpedoes. Against... The Boyne, I think. Yeah. But she also seemed to be on the receiving end of torpedoes. And that's probably going to put her down. This is one heavy cruiser that I'm not sure you see go. Because she inflicted some serious damage against my own ships. Alright, destroyers. Range... 12-7. I don't even know where the battleship is anymore. Over here. Oh. 18-5. Okay. Continue on your course. Okay. 
I really need these things to go away. These heavy cruisers are blocking the path that my destroyers are supposedly going to take towards the enemy warship against the, uh, the battleship, the Repulse. They're getting very much in the way. Need you guys to slow down and await your turn. Indomitable seemingly having taken some pretty heavy damage at this point. From torpedoes, no less. Maybe I can finish her off. Because I'm just not seeing any sort of hits registering on the heavy cruisers. So target the battle cruiser, secondaries on the Edinburgh. Um, hard to starboard, actually, not hard to port. Oh, crap, we got the Boyne coming in. Boyne only has a few torpedoes left, but enough to make her dangerous. Edinburgh also has torpedoes. Same for the Europa. Range, 13-2, so I'm well within torpedo range here. Speaking of... I might be able to land my own torpedoes. Here comes one torpedo salvo. Side leads. Maneuver hard to port. Lauenberg. Avoid it one. Hit one. Shit. At least the Lauenberg should be fine from the other torpedo. Another torpedo launched by the destroyer. Hold on a minute. Lauenberg. Manual control. Detach. Sightleads is going to have a big problem. She did torpedo against the heavy cruiser. Which I think has not yet detected that. These are pretty visible torpedoes though. They're fast ones. 62.5. That salvo is going to be hard to avoid right there. Um, even if I slow down, I think I'm not going to be able to maneuver in time. DDs. Turn back in. Battlefield has shifted a bit. Indomitable. Seriously damaged. Lauenberg. Try to torpedo the Indomitable. Where is she out of range? 9-4 to 9-8. Ah, she's at the edge of range. Sightleads is going to be unable to avoid this. Which sucks. At least the Duke of Edinburgh finally is flooding. Hopefully that'll be the end of her. Boyne has launched torpedoes and is out. Sightleads is going to eat another torpedo. There it is. Secondaries on the Parker. Lauenberg is fine. For now. Indomitable still flooding. But only one compartment. So for her it's nothing really serious. More torpedoes incoming. Bavaria also joining in, but she's running out of ammo. Heavy flooding on the Boyne. Three compartments. Destroyers. We still have a battleship to kill. Carry on. Hold off on the torpedoes. These torpedoes don't look like anything because these heavy cruisers were maneuvering so much that it's just impossible to hit. At least with the torpedoes, that is. I might be able to withdraw sight leads at least a bit, but the more I turn to starboard, the more easy I become to pen by the repulse. So I think I might lose sight leads. I'm really hoping to sink the Indomitable because she's on my flank and that's not where I want her. Eight point one kilometers out. Lauenberg, try to launch the torpedoes. All of those on your port side. Just one big salvo. Sight leads still flooding. Anti flood three. V three sinks due to heavy flooding. Wait, what? 
shit. That was the torpedoes that got avoided by the battle cruisers. And that leaves with just the V4 surviving. I was so preoccupied with kind of trying to keep the battle cruisers alive that the destroyers behind them didn't get enough attention from me. Mistake. Okay, torpedoes away from Lauenburg. Torpedoes away from Seitlitz. Seitlitz launching against the heavy cruiser. Lauenburg launching against the battle cruiser, which is already damaged. Severely slowed down by flooding and engine damage. Boyne is fighting off her flooding. The threat, I think, lies not in the Boyne, but in the Parker. Because the Parker still has her torpedoes ready. V4, maintain course. We still have to get very close to that battleship. Ammo detonation. On the Indomitable. Props to the Duke of Edinburgh for avoiding torpedoes and at the same time pumping out all the water because she was pretty heavily flooded. She has now probably seen the torpedoes. I think that these are pretty promising against the Indomitable. She's trying to avoid them. Oh, maybe this... Whoa, Jesus. Sightly, it's... I didn't know you were that bad. Turn back. Come on. No! The Indomitable is avoiding everything. That's not part of the plan. That is seriously not part of the plan. She has sent out torpedoes again. The Parker against a battle cruiser. Anybody's guess which one that is? Torpedoes here. Look deep. Might be a threat to the Graf Spey, but I doubt it. Boyne is still fighting or flooding. I'm going to try and land torpedoes against the Repulse, but she has anti-torp 5. She's very unimpressed with torpedoes. Okay, damage, flooding... Damage to the main gun again. She's still... There goes Cyclades, finally. She could not control her flooding. So that just leaves me with... Um, a pretty healthy Lauenburg. The Bavaria. Which should be trailing Lauenburg at this point. And between those ships, I'm gonna have to sink... A battle cruiser. A heavy cruiser. Sorry, two heavy cruisers. A destroyer and a battleship. Right. Easy. At least Lauenburg seems to be working over the Indomitable pretty well. Torpedo hits. Finally. I'm not sure whose. From a heavy cruiser. Oh, that must have been the Bavaria. That's going to aid in sinking this ship. Parker is reloading her torpedoes. Secondaries from the Lauenburg on the Parker. V4. I still need you closer. I should not have slowed that ship down, but they were getting a bit too close to the heavy cruisers uh, about, what was it, 15 minutes ago? Something to that extent. Lauenburg. Torpedoes on the battleship, if you can. She's now only 5 kilometers out. That also makes her a very high risk. She can now hit with almost 20% efficiency, or 20% likeliness. So trying to turn out. And hopefully I'll sink the Parker before those torpedoes get too close. Oh, she might have already spotted them. No, not yet. Repulse reloads in 35 seconds. But she's not shooting. There she is. Now she's shooting. Lauenburg, fortunately, at this point, heavily angled. I think the Repulse did not get any good hits there. There goes the Parker. That's the last of their destroyers. Now it is just battle cruisers, heavy cruisers, and a battleship. And the battleship seems to be plowing along heavily. 
These torpedoes look pretty decent. Bavaria, unfortunately, out of torpedoes at this stage. Oh, this is going to massively wound her. Way to go. Six torpedo hits. Ship is flooding in one, two, three, four compartments. But then again, it's a battleship with many bulkheads. Anti-torpedo 5 and anti-flood 2. She might be flooding for a while, but I don't think that she's going to be sunk by that. I need these torpedoes to land. Duke of Edinburgh sinks due to heavy flooding. A torpedo hit her. Nice. All right, big spread out from the V4. She only has a very small amount of torpedoes left at this point. Only a set for the quintuple. If all of this hits, it might flood the repulse a bit more, but look at that. She has a minute amount of water in her compartments. It's really not serious. Still chipping away at the Indomitable. She is flooding. She's burning. I think she's going to flood out. Yeah. There she goes. Indomitable is down. Big torpedo salvo rushing into the repulse. Has she spotted that? Yes, she has. She's trying to turn starboard to evade. But not enough. 23. No, she's maintaining her speed. She's going to eat 5, I think. 4. More flooding, but unfortunately in the same compartment. So it's not as valuable. Lauenberg, back to port. Sink the Europa. Before the Europa decides to go on the torpedo run again. Oh, and uh, you, set a smoke screen. Repulse. Buoyancy. Going back up. She's pumping out the water again. 72%. And steady. Damn, that's a tough battleship. Even landing torpedoes at her at short range is not going to be enough. I think it's going to have to be gunnery. But that's a problem. Because that might take too long. I mean, it's not that I'm running out of time. Or shells. Or at least not on... Not on my battle cruiser, but the heavy... Oh, shit. The heavy cruiser is running out of shells. At least for the 11-inch. That's a really nasty thing to do there, uh, Europe. Desperately trying to put down this uh, heavy cruiser. Because I really need those... No, I need those torpedoes in the V4. Quit it. There might not be a lot of torpedoes left, but whatever I can keep. Yes, please. No, she's flooding out. Minimum bulkheads, she's toast. This is going to be a problem. Now, supposedly, according to the scenario, there is going to be reinforcements for the British. So, as much as I might have sunk the majority of this battle group, part of their home fleet, I've almost lost the entirety of my own fleet as well. So, I'm not sure if I could even survive the reinforcements, and I do not believe I would. I think there's just too much of the British. Too many ships coming at me. Shit, more torpedoes. At least the repulse is no longer actively shooting at me. Which is nice. But it's going to take a lot more work to sink her. Europa's coming back in. Having reloaded her torpedoes. And she's eager to try that again. Launching against the battle cruiser. Here is a torpedo from the repulse. 
that's uh, very unwelcome. Come on. Need a few good hits. Europa is a pretty... Pretty agile cruiser. I recognize that. Nope. <laughs> There's torpedoes everywhere. Bavaria, maintain course. Lauenburg behind her. Another set of torpedoes. We're now what? 2.9 clicks out. Oh shit, the Bavaria has no torpedo. She has no torpedoes. She has no eight, uh, 11 inch guns. All she has is her 6 inch guns. Oof. That's rough. All torpedoes against the battleship. Range 4.8 kilometers port side. Launchman ready. I just think that it might... It might not want to launch. Because the Bavaria is in the way. The Bavaria is trying to get out of the way. But it's going to take her a while. I need you to slow down massively. Although that does make the Lauenburg even more vulnerable to the battleship. Nothing? Target maneuver, minus 83%. Jesus. Yeah, there goes your accuracy. We still have the wounded Graf Spee, and she has torpedoes. We'll see if the Graf Spee can actually do something useful. Save. Last time she torpedoed, it was, I think, against the battleship. Range against the battleship, increased to 5.8. Jesus, could you just give up? Another incoming torpedo, that could be a problem for the Lauenberg. Lauenberg is firing back at the heavy cruiser with 14-inch guns and 8-inch. That single 8-inch secondary that she had amidships. She's just not doing anything. The ship has been shot at 5,000... 5,300 times. I've hit 2% of the shells against the uh, Europa. That is pretty sad. 2% against my ship 10% or near enough has hit and here 7.1% now fair enough this is a smaller heavy cruiser than my own so I'm presenting a much bigger target but still can we please land or at least send torpedoes against the repulse kindly Graf Spee has launched her torpedoes Let's see, that's a port launch. Maximum to port. I think the battleship's a bit distracted. If I can give her a full starboard spread of torpedoes, that should aid me in sinking her. The Bavaria at this point is more of a distraction than anything else. Ah, Lauenberg has finally sent her torpedoes as well. Repulse has probably detected the torpedoes, but is just unable to avoid at least these two. Yep, engines down. Oh, she's torpedoing in return. That's unasked for. Gosh, Bay. Your range, two and a half. I have to have these ships turn around quick. Or I risk getting hit by my own torpedoes. Repulse. Probably slowed down by the torpedoes that I sent from the Graf Spee. Is now just ignoring all of these things. Because they're not a threat at all. But the torpedoes from the other side are much, much harder to avoid. Unfortunately, while I was not paying attention, Lauenberg got hit for 423. And she ate torpedoes. 
And I think she's not going to be long for this uh, particular encounter. Her pulse flooding yet again. I think I'm going to lose this scenario. It's going to be very close. Oh shit. It's not a centipede. I'm going to have to do something really weird. I'm going to have to try and sacrifice the Bavaria. If I can have the Bavaria eat the torpedo, then Seidlitz, no, sorry, Lauenberg might survive. Yeah. 1345 damage on the Bavaria. But the Bavaria is just a floating 6 inch and 3 inch battery and nothing else. Pulse flooding out. No, not flooding out, in fact. She's healthy. Shit, Bavaria, I need you to slow down as much as you can. Because if I can now torpedo the Europa, I can kill her instantly. But the Lauenberg has three damaged engines and is not particularly listening to her rudder. Oh no, there goes Bavaria. Portside torpedoes, if you can. Graf Spey. Come on, come on, come on, come on. She's flooding. I'm just trying to get as much damage out of her as I can. Torpedoes away from Lauenburg. Um, right, what can I do? Try and hit Europa. Torpedoes looking pretty good on the repulse. Six torpedoes onto the repulse. Unfortunately, that is an area of the ship that already was flooded. So I think it's not going to do that much against her. So try to launch the starboard torpedo set against the repulse. Yeah, see, it, she just didn't... Oh, she already launched her starboard torpedo sets against the Europa. Okay, that's good. Graf Spee, you still have torps. You're just not quick. Try and land those on the repulse. I think that Europa... No, she's gonna get hit! I was going to say that she should know better. Finally. Europa is down. I might... Might still win this. But it's all going to come down to how accurate that battleship's going to be. And whether I can still land torpedoes with my... Atmo with, there, with the Graf Spee. She did just send out another salvo, but the repulse is already maneuvering. And avoiding. Lauenberg, you have torpedoes ready. I think torpedoes are going to be the way to go, because guns are not. Despite me doing pretty respectable damage here. The accuracy on the repulse is getting pretty impressive. Come on. Send one more welcome. No! She sunk. Yeah, this goes to the repulse. I have no way of sinking her. Because I have only 6 inch and 3 inch guns on the Graf Spee. There is one last thing that I can try. And that's going to involve ramming. But the Graf Spee can only do 11 knots. Against the repulse is 10.3. This is gonna... Yeah, she's probably going to sink before she even gets there. Well, let's try. Become the torpedo. Ships always have one torpedo left, and that's the ship itself. Structural integrity, however, is 54% on the repulse. 
This ship has 80% structural integrity in the way that ramming damage seems to be implemented at the moment is that if you have a lighter ship and you ram something heavier, that actually gives you an advantage. Believe it or not. 6.2 clicks. Repulse might soon run out of her 14 inch guns. Five nine. Just hope I can tank enough shells before the repulse gets rammed by the cross bay. If you're still watching the video at this point, kudos to you. Because this is turning into a long, long, long video again. We're already at an hour five. And I think it's going to take me another five minutes to get close enough to try a ram even. Caspe, having been shot at 780 times. She is now flooding. That's probably going to sink her. Maybe I don't need five more minutes. Buoyancy down to 12%. Speed reduced to 9 knots. Range 4 kilometers. I don't believe I'm going to get away with this. Because those 7 inch and 6 inch guns from that ship get progressively more dangerous. Yeah, there she goes. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, so close. I did manage to save one destroyer. And that's uh, the... Uh, Jesus, how far away are you? Wow, the V1. <laughs> the V1 is still alive. That's the one I sent out because she was just out of torpedoes. She has managed to travel about 120 kilometers already. So we do have one survivor, and they have one very heavily damaged battleship. But I have one lost scenario. Although I got so close. Oh, that irks me. If you want to send in your own scenario, you can. Do so by using the link down below in the description. That's the only way that I'm now accepting scenarios. Don't send them in anymore through the comment section, because I don't check on those anymore. So send them in, and you might get featured in a video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I shall catch you soon for another video.